Hello, Victor here. I want to welcome, welcome you to this video called The Process of Body Death. This video is for everyone who knows without any doubt that you are a spiritual being operating a body. If you have any doubt on this fact, you need to click on my channel, Truth Be Known, which is underneath the name of this video. Then go to videos on that page and find the one titled, Are You a Spiritual Being? After you have listened to that video, come back to this one and it will make more sense to you. Okay, let's talk about the title of this vid video, The Process of Body Death. I call it that because the body is the only thing that dies. You cannot die, and neither can anyone else because we are all spiritual beings. Our bodies are nothing more than vehicles, vessels, or avatars that we operate, and at death they die, but we don't. Now on this planet, another term for our bodies is soul container. For most of us, we are contained in these bodies until body death. Okay, so when body death has occurred, you will be free from your body. The things may look a little, a little different to you. If, if you remember this video, it won't be such a shock to you when it happens. Next, you may be contacted or taken by a helper to the tunnel with a light at, at the end of it. Now that you are out of body, you can see the light if you look for it. Now, in the fourth dimension, all communication is done in thought or telepathically. There's no verbal communication. Because you don't have a body anymore to, to, to talk. <laughs> so you're going to be thinking or you pick it up telepathically. If you want to be someplace where you've been before, just think I will now return to and the place you want to go to, and say the word now at the end of that. Like, you know, you had a, you want to go to MacArthur Park, say I am now at MacArthur, uh, I will now return to MacArthur Park now. And visualize that in your, in your mind, you know. You have to want it, you can't just say it, okay, or think it. You have to want it. So, you visualize that and, and, and you'll, you'll be there. So, as you're thinking this, put up a mental image picture of that place. That's exactly what I just said. You should also try to regain your memories from your past. Think I will now have clarity of all my memories from the past return to me now. Keep thinking things like my memories from the past will return to me now. My memories will return now. Now, the reason this is important is because you're going to know what the heck you've done in the past, how you got here, uh, how you can get your uh, abilities back again, and... Um, exactly what's been done to remove those uh, abilities and what you once you have those back then you have some uh, no one no one can mess with you anymore unless you agree to it okay so if you are contacted or the angel tries to take you you know there as many names for this um, the the the, um, the the person the, the helpers in the light, they, they actually guide you into the light. They actually take you there. Um, <laughs> you um, have heard names like guardian angel, angel of death, uh, angels from heaven, and they're all the same thing. And um, we have another name for it um, now that we know 
who the beings are in the light. We call them Archon helpers, and that's what they that's what they are. They're helping you in to to go to the light. Or they're taking you there. So if you're contacted by one of these angels, tries to take you, you tell them, Stop! I am not ready to go into the light. I am not ready to go into the light. That's what you tell them. I am waiting for the funeral, and then I will decide what I want to do. If you don't stop, if you don't stop, if you don't stop, you know... If the angel's taking you and you don't stop at that point, command yourself to stop. Think I won't stop now. Think yourself, return 10 feet above my body. I will stop now and return 10 feet above my body. Now, if there's going to be a funeral, you should wait because all your friends and relatives will be there. This is what funerals are all about. It gives you and them a chance to say goodbye. It's what's known as a farewell party. Now we've all heard that. That's exactly what it is. If you know there is not going to be a funeral, you have a choice. Well, let me, let me go over this. When you're at the funeral, as soon as it's over, the, the angel's coming back to get you again. <laughs> He's probably sitting there right... Right, right there, wait, waiting, wait, waiting for it to end. So, you're going to have to have another communication with, with this angel. Um, and this is a choice you have to make. You can go with the guardian angel to the light or remain close to the planet for a while. Tell the angel what you want. If you're not getting what you want, think, all right, that's it. You leave me alone. I am a sovereign being. I come from source, and anything that is done against my wishes is a violation of the golden rule. And the golden rule is a prime principle of existence. Everyone must follow it, including angels, angels that try to force you into the light. If you don't like it, then get lost. I don't need you to incarnate. Just tell them, I will incarnate on my own if, I, if and when I'm ready. When I am ready, I will incarnate on my own. Okay, why am I telling you this? Well, if you decide to go in the light, this is what will happen. I have to tell you, the beings, the beings that are in the light are fourth dimensional ETs. That's what they are. They are not God, but they have made us believe they are. They have been given the power by all the other planets and ETs on these planets to keep us here until they decide to change their minds. Well, they ain't changed their minds and they ain't gonna. We were banished from one of those other planets, planets because we either violated the, go the golden rule or we were undesirable in some way. We have named them Archons. They have set up this planet to be a prison planet. To put it simply, the light is a reincarnation trap. When you get there, you will first be shown people you've known who have passed on, relatives, and even your pets. They will look real to you and even talk to you. But this is only an E.T. hoodwink or trick. They can read your mind and your thoughts, they can project them right in front of you, and they will. They will make you, make you believe that this is heaven, and whatever your religious beliefs are, they will show you in, they will show those re religious beliefs in the light. If you, if you believe you're going to see Jesus, they'll project him for you, and they'll even talk to you. How about that? These archons have been our con artists, and have kept us on this reincarnation merry-go-round for thousands of years. These archons can shapeshift or put up a hologram of anything they want. They have the ability to drain your energy and wipe your memory, by the way. They have all Creator God abilities, and they will use them to get you to reincarnate back on this planet in a defective body, 
with only two strands of DNA. Bodies are, bodies are supposed to have 12 strands of DNA. No one ever told anybody this, and we just willy-nilly uh, let them do this to us the first time, and that was it. Once, once we were in, it, it, it just goes round and round and round, like a merry-go-round, um, because they wipe our memory, and we don't even know where we came from, how we got here, you know, we came from mom and dad. Well, <laughs> the body did, but you didn't, okay? <laughs> so, um, on all the other planets that are not prison planets, I have no idea if this is the only one, but I'm pretty sure it is, in this timeline anyway, um, all those other planets that have ETs on them have 12 strands of DNA, yeah, they have creator god abilities. Just like these ETs in the light, the Archons, they have the same abilities. They'll never demonstrate them to you because they're not about to show you that they can be like Jesus Christ. You know, they want you to believe there was only one of those. And the truth is, they're all just as able, in fact, more than able, because Jesus, Jesus was never told of his uh, all, all, of, all of his creator God abilities. You know, he did certain things and that's it. But um, never told. So, um, but the, these ETs, they know what this planet's being used for, believe me. And trust me, that's why they don't communicate with us. You know, there had to be a reason they didn't communicate with you. You don't, the reason you don't communicate with someone is because you violated the golden rule with them somehow or some way. Um, you did something to them that you would not want done to yourself, or you're trying to keep a secret from them. Mm hmm That's exactly it. Then you will not want to communicate with that person again. And if they do, if they do, come up in your face, guess what? You're going to feel very uh, weird because you're going to think, well, I wonder if they know that. I wonder if they know, you know, I wonder. And it's going to make you very apprehensive. And um, this is why when you cheat on a relationship, it'll never be the same again. <laughs> it just, it just never will. <laughs> So, you violated the golden rule. The best thing for you to do is come clean. And that's going to be the your, your best bet. And just take your chances. But, um, so here we go. They, can, they have all creator God abilities. They will use them to get you to reincarnate in a defective body on planet Earth. These bodies are defective because the DNA has been cut from 12 strands to two. You know, next to death, basically. So, they cut it as far down as they could. You know, some, some people end up uh, with Down syndrome. Some people end up with, uh, they can heal people. Uh, which is a creator God uh, ability, and, and they call it a gift. So... All right. On this planet, we do not have 12 strands. We have two strands because this is a prison planet. And no one has escaped yet. Okay, then now comes the life review of the life you just had. And they will show you this by scanning your mind about what you did that was wrong or not quite right. Okay, my time is up on this one. There's going to be a part two to this. Um, I thank you for listening. You can re reply um, after the series is over. I will, um, if you have any any questions, um, so I'll see you on the ne next one, and we'll continue. Thank you. Bye bye.